but you never hear the side of the man it's always it's always the man is garbage mine is trash the women are all peaches and daisies and the greatest people on earth and they can do no wrong right peace and blessings you ugly mofos and welcome to another episode of he rants i am your host felix long trust man check this out man it's your first time on he rants i want to let you know i'm just a random guy like to talk about random stuff that interests me and i just feel like i need to inform you guys about it that sounds sexy or attractive to you make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as with the post notifications that way you always be one of the first to hear the voice and at the same time leave a like because i'm so damn insecure and those likes definitely let me know i'm doing a stand-up job same time you gotta buy the merch mofo men offering females orgasms because we're so humble email me in the description box below definitely hit that email email me i got you i definitely got you damn would you would you stop with that my dog is at it again man my dog is at it again just making a whole one mm. but today man we got a different video man we got a video uh pretty much a, one of my one of my followers on instagram hit me up right because uh, apparently he slid into a woman's dm right the woman dm is an actress a uh, decently well-known actress known by the name of Yvette Nicole Brown. You guys know who Yvette Nicole Brown is, right? Yvette Nicole Brown, uh, aka, I think she was Helen on Drake and Josh. If you guys haven't watched Drake and Josh, I'm not that old, damn it. I know y'all watch Drake and Josh, man. Stop playing with me on Nickelodeon. So you guys know Drake Bell and Josh Peck, I think, or Josh Peck. Drake Bell, yeah, yeah. yeah that's the show, right? When she was pretty much the the the, the freaking manager at the freaking uh movie theater that what's the name worked at and everything right yeah yes her that lady right for some reason when i look at her she reminds me of an aunt right she just looks like an aunt like aunt helen right you just call her aunt helen and stuff right and the name helen really fit her i just felt like that name i felt like that should have been her name well yvette uh, actually, actually yvette fit, fits her too i really say that but the reason why i'm talking about her right is because the my the follower that told me about this right and by the way if you're not following your boy on instagram you're tripping it's he rants underscore on Instagram. Would you freaking stop? What was I saying? Yes, it's he rants underscore on Instagram, man. He rants underscore, right? I also have a Twitter, but I'm not really on my Twitter. My Twitter probably got like 60 followers, man. Like, listen, I need to really get on Twitter and really start pushing and everything, right? But Yvette Brown, she definitely she posted something on her Instagram, right? That uh, my follower on her Instagram, his name, he goes by the name of Provolone Tabron. Hey bro. hey bro i'm mad I, i'm sorry if i'm messing up your name it's provolone provolone tay brown or tay brown i think it's straight tape provolone tay brown to brown to brown provolone i'm just gonna call you provolone bro let's just do that right well he saw the the freaking post right he sent it to me and everything and it was pretty interesting right because pretty much on the post she said that the next guy who messes with her has to have uh be do like a 500 word essay or something right pretty much saying what he brings to the table she pretty wants pretty much wants a man to give her a bcr right which lets me believe that she has just gotten out of a hookup right and it's probably a dude that she was messing with I just probably just wanted the guts and completely wasted her time which happens a lot nowadays right because you know women empowerment has sex with a mate. like now i don't know if that is, is one of those people and stuff she might not be all that woman empowerment stuff it's just like she probably just wants to find a dude at this point man because she, she she gotta be at least 40 something by now she gotta be early 40s maybe i don't know maybe even mid 40s i don't know how old she is man but uh but yeah so basically she said that and you know me i look at that i'm just like <laughs> <laughs> Yvette Brown, you's a nice lady. You look like a nice lady, right? But 500 words, man. 500 words. Listen, as a person can write you 500 words and still finesse you out the cheeks, right? And then keep it pushing. It doesn't matter. So some guys go to school for English, right? Go to English, they're able to. Great writers, man. Might, might even give you 600 words, right? And still treat you like garbage, right? Now you just wasted your time reading through that whole thing just for him to get in your guts and keep it pushing. Or for him to get in your guts and then to find out he has another family in West Africa. You know what I'm saying? Is it worth it? Is it worth it at that point, son? Just get the dick right now in the beginning. And that way you don't have to worry about getting all the feelings and stuff later. By that time, you might be invested before you know that he has a son named Nbuku. Come on, bruh. I, I don't know, man. But 
pretty much this guy provolone man this guy's hilarious he decided to slide in her dms and hit her with the hey with the two y's and everything right very smooth very smooth when you give the when you put the extra y right there right maybe even three y's at that point she knows what the deal is right it knows this is the this is a chess match right now she looks at it and she realizes this guy wants to get in my guts how do i do this how do i play this right so the way she played it by replying and saying she's not going for hey no more right in fact i'll put it right here what she what she wrote right I'm, I'm paraphrasing and everything right pretty much saying that you know you might be a good guy and stuff like that but i need the full stuff i need to i need a whole essay i'm serious about the essay and everything right yeah yeah she's wild and he replied with a pretty witty way right pretty comeback and it's pretty much to say that's why you don't have a man which might be the case which might be the case i think i want to say this i'm glad you brought this up i think that we put too much pressure on women who have not in society's uh, opinion got their man and their kids yet. Yes. Um, we act as if there's something wrong with them instead of maybe there's something wrong with the way society thinks of them. Right. Or maybe there's something wrong with, with the, the way men. men treat them. Yes. Um, I think there's nothing wrong with having standards. I think there's nothing wrong with waiting until it's the right one for you. Yeah. It's very important to make sure that as you make your decision as to how you're going to spend your day and who you're going to spend it with, that it's a man that's worthy of your time. Yeah. So I'm going to wait for the... Right. I don't know. She might be a good girl. She might be a good woman, man. You never know, right? But you never hear the side of the man. It's always, it's always the man is garbage, the man is trash. The women are all peaches and daisies and the greatest people on earth and they can do no wrong, right? There's never a woman's fault, right? Why a relationship dies. It's always the man's fault, right? So we don't know how it is with Helen. I'm psst, Yvette. You know what I'm saying? And then she replied and blah, 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 blah. And you guys see the old reply and everything like that, right? But the reason why I see this, right? I, I see this and I make... I, I'm in a shock, right? The reason why I'm in a shock is because <sighs> Tyler Perry, one of the leaders of the Simp Alliance, man, has really been pushing a lot, right? But I feel like a lot of black women have watched Tyler Perry and his Medea movies and such and all his other movies where it makes every woman look like they're a victim and there's a bad black guy destroying her life. And then there's another black guy who's the knight in shining armor who's able to take care of her even if she's a single mother or something like that or overweight or something like that. Just, you know, just a lot of uh, a woman, a, a majority of guys wouldn't want to mess with, right? And now this has emboldened a lot of women to really believe that these guys exist. Not just that, there's also Disney, like I mentioned many times before Disney out here telling these girls that these type of guys exist. And a lot of people might listen to what I'm saying right now is like oh man felix you're being an asshole why the hell would you say certain certain things like that guys like that do exist yes they do exist but i'm talking about they're, they're probably the point zero zero one percent of men zero zero one percent of men in america in, in america because i'm not even counting the men outside of america because you know damn right <laughs> damn well the men outside of america um, america and maybe the uk is probably women get treated the best every other country women are second class citizens it's second class maybe australia too maybe australia. yeah second class citizens man. second class citizens so i know damn well those men ain't thinking like that so probably in the united states probably i'm gonna say this i'm not gonna say 0 0.001 let me say 0.1 percent of men right will actually do all that lovey-dovey oh my god let me sweep you off your feet and they're, they're out there right but they're very very rare and what makes you think you deserve that man right yvette brown man listen like I said, and I said it countless times, I feel like you're a good girl, but you should give my man's provolone a chance. Just to get into the guts, you might like it, he might like it, he might decide to want to pursue greater odds with you, right? You are known as the TV aunt, at least in my opinion, you're known as the TV aunt, right? Mrs. Helen. I'm just, can I call you Helen? I'm just going to call you Helen and stuff, right? I think you should go ahead and just, just give the man provolone a chance, right? Give the man provolone a chance. And I, I, I'm not sure. I think Provolone sent me a video for me to post on him, right? Follow the boy, man. He's doing his thing out there. I think he's trying to be a model and such. I don't know. He's an interesting cat. But yeah, I'm a, if, if I had the video, I'm going to post it. If I don't, maybe I thought the video was too long. Maybe I didn't post it. I'm not sure. Either way, we'll see what happens. All right, I got to do this quick because this cicadas out here and my phone about to die. Bet Nicole Brown. I never thought that it'd be so simple, but I found a way from your ass i'm up like 3 3 30 maybe even 4 in the morning last night scrolling the gram watching drake and josh i don't know when josh got a job at the movie theater and he had the boss and she was like the angry black boss who was always telling him get back to work and all that kind of i'm scrolling and i see her post something so i read the post it says 
if you're interested in dating me, it's going to take a 500 word essay and references from your friends. Them cicadas is too loud. I'm inside. Damn. Okay, cool. She, she not with no bullshit. She definitely ready for the real. She want a real nigga. I'm a real man. I don't know. Whatever. I know it's not okay to say nigga if you're black. It don't matter because I know I'm legit. I know I'm the real deal. So I slide. I gave her one word. Hey. She asked for 500. I give her one word. Hey. Whoop. And I bust out laughing because I thought the shit was hilarious. I mean, shit. It's four in the morning. I ain't know you were serious. The niggas ain't even have to let out no more. I wake up in the morning, my phone hot to hell. Boy, I swear to God. I did not think that she was going to see that DM. This motherfucker got 600,000 followers. I used to watch you on TV when I was like 12. This is on there dragging my name. Go check my DM. Like, is this coming from this? All this from this bitch? Yo, she condescends. I put the phone down, go in the bathroom, look in the mirror. I said, who the fuck? Is she talking? She, she not talking to you, bruh. In the bathroom, back in the mirror. I said, bruh, she was not joking in that post last night. Shorty is down horrendously right now. Horrendously. Back to the post and see that it's a long ass caption there. I ain't even see before. Where I read the caption, I'm like, yo, she's serious about it. She really want a 500 word essay. Like, shorty, really? <laughs> in her box i'm like young i didn't know you were serious with that and i really can't even tell if you're serious now or not but you weren't really expecting a 500 word essay and references from my friends i'm not gonna speak for every man but i am one and i'm just saying i've i've never written or published a piece of literature in the pursuit of a woman i didn't know you was being serious and also that it was this hard for you to find a man so i see why you snapped but I'm thinking at four in the morning at your age, you can't really expect like you did. Cause let me tell you something, baby, ain't nobody that looked like this going to listen to somebody talk to them like that. I said, the way you talking to me, I see why you ain't got no man. I said, my nigga, that's what did it. You know, this motherfucker screenshotted this shit from the morning. We spent the night together now. It's 8 a.m. She, she, the, she the screenshotted the shit and along with some very flattering pictures of me and posted them on her account, trying to get people to, I guess, side with her. Come on, man. They gonna side with you till they get here. I all that to say this. Men, my niggas, I know you tired of this shit. <laughs> I'm tired of this shit. And I'm here to save you. Pro 102 podcast coming in two days. I'm going to talk about this shit. Be on the lookout. Link will be in bio. Until then, uh, link in bio right now. Go watch my post. And for any of you motherfuckers that disagree, whether you will pick me. That's all the news I got for today. I don't know if I posted a video or not. But if I did post a video, that was, that was Provolone. That was the guy. If I did post the video, that is. If I didn't, no hard feelings. No hard feelings. You're still cool, man. Hey, but listen, if you stay this long, I appreciate you. I love you, man. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as with the post notification. That way, you'll always be one of the first to hear the voice. Same time, leave a like. I'm so damn insecure in those likes that feel like you know I'm doing a stand up job. Same time, you gotta buy the merch. Mofo. Men offering females orgasms because we're so humble. Link in the description box below. And that's all I gotta say. Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos.